What do I have lined up, actually? What's the next thing? Oh, okay, I have this comic. Someone made me a lovely comic. The Internet's Neighbor. And there is the slobber mutt. He has lost control of a boulder. He was pushing up a hill. A, uh, a nice man asks him, What happened to your boulder, Goy? And then the slobber mutt responds, I don't know. I wasn't looking. Next thing I knew, boulder's gone. Guess I'm a stupid Goy. Uh, many people will recognize this as a uh, MBE world peace skit that actually was cut because it was too on the nose uh however it has been immortalized in a comic now i actually don't remember who made this i apologize i stole it without any credit <laughs> i think i gave the guy an achievement sticker so that's what really matters what is my boulder where has it gone what's happening uh last stream i announced that epic our domain registrar had seized kiwifarms.net for unspecified terms of service violation. I uh, talked about that for a little bit, and then I scrambled into action to uh, demand that they return it, and they did. They gave me the authorization codes to transfer this domain out of their control. I moved it to a different registrar who said they could probably handle it. Uh, within two hours of the transfer to their registrar service, uh, they emailed me to politely inform me that actually they were wrong. They could not handle the heat. And so they asked me to transfer it again. So I contacted uh, like 14 different registrars. I got replies from almost none of them. Uh, 1984.is uh, responded saying that they don't want me. Like that's what the actual message was. We don't want you. Uh, Nyala, which is a... I think it's written by like a Swedish guy who's famous for being like pro piracy or whatever. Um, he's like a, the pirate Bay alumni. And he responded saying, we don't support transphobes or anti trans folk is what he said. I think is the exact wording. So everyone seemed to think of that. Let me, let me carve a distinction for my audience. Cause when I talk about things, there is a huge mis misconception between almost everybody I talk to that pro piracy or pro wares or pro malware or pro anything that's like gray area illegal would be able to support the Kiwi farms. This is not true. Things that host piracy stuff, things that host like IPTV, things that host malware and, and so on and so forth. They love not getting attention. So these companies that are, and to be clear, there's actually another distinction. You have the people who are in the gray area, like cyber crime fields, and then you have like the pro journalist, pro piracy types. And that's not always the same group, but neither of them want the Kiwi farms because the crime people don't want the attention. And the, um, the, uh, pro journalist people are super, super progressive. And they support piracy as a matter of like communist agenda and not as a matter of um, pro freedom or anything. So those two groups do not support the Kiwi farms. Um, that's just how it is. And people seem really surprised. There were a lot of people in Nyala who were like, oh, surely Nyala, who hosted the Pirate Bay and went to court to defend them, is going to be. Nope. Surely 1984, who went to court to defend their. No. Uh oh. Not how it works. And I get tips like, hey, this guy in um, Bulgaria owns his own data center and uses that for like IPTV and wares and stuff. And he's like a known cyber criminal. Maybe you should ask him. So I, I did. I sent him an email. Say, hey, I know who you are, which, by the way, this is a great thing to do. If someone's like a cyber criminal who's operating like a like a front business and you just email them saying, hey, I know exactly who you are and what your history is. Can you host my website? They don't like that. They want to know how you know. They want to know who you are. They want to know who your contacts are. They get very agitated at this. Uh, it does not work. Um, so those people also don't want to touch the Kiwi Farms. <laughs> um, so we're on a new registrar. Apparently, uh, I don't know, people get it. Even when it's like trivial to look up what something is in a tech stack, uh, people get really upset if I mention the name of the company. So I will abstain from doing so. My goal is just to find a place to park the domain um, for a couple months because I have a long-term solution in mind, but it's uh, it, I need to sit on my hands for a bit. And this is the frustrating thing about losing the registrar is that you need a registrar. 
you don't have a registrar, your domain is returned to ICANN. So if they can't, if they refuse to even hold it, like this is the the scary things that they, it's not that they refused, um, like DNS resolving. So far, it's not like, hey, can I park the domain on your your pro, your registrar without forwarding it to the Kiwi Farms and just like dis disactivate it and hold it as a property uh, for a couple months? So far, that's not been on the table, which is strange. I've contacted like Internet BS, um, I love WW, which is owned by Shinjiru, and they are like, no. <laughs> so it's like this is this is literally unprecedented. Uh, once again, there's another situation where. Um, all the big famous, you know, we, we do everything, um, corporate domain registrars are like, no, we can't touch that. And it gets escalated to trust and safety, like immediately. So these aren't like support guys, like, no, I don't think so. It, they, I, I specifically, in my emails, I say, Hey, I know that you're a random support guy. This needs to be forwarded to your trust and safety advisory council or whoever is responsible for trust and safety immediately. I uh, don't even read this, just forward it. So, and then it takes like a full day at least to get a reply. And then the reply is like, no, usually. Uh, so a little bit crazy. Once again, it's fascinating. Um, and then off the news of this, I received more news. Um, a while back, I mentioned that Cogent had sent a specific uh, takedown to one of my providers demanding that a whole laundry list of nude images be censored. And so in one day I developed an extension to the Kiwi farms that allows me to make a post, uh, a notice that the post has been censored. That's been censored by a tier one ISP. And for the sake of expediency and keeping the site up, it's been censored and the attachments become unavailable. I did that. I went through and I went to like, like two dozen posts and I just censored all of them outright. Anything that included any kind of nude images that were, uh, uh, being alleged by a third party not related to any of the people involved in these images as being non-consensual pornography, which is not not illegal to host. It's illegal to post non-consensual pornography in certain states. And I think also at a federal level, it's a civil tort. But you're talking about a um, a civil issue and something that, is, that falls on the person who posted it, not the website that hosts it, because that's not how it works. But regardless, I decided to acquiesce to the demands. And uh, at weeks later, Cogent sends a follow-up email. And even though the entire list of posts that they're complaining about has been censored, the guy, they're telling um, the ISP, you must remove any IP associated with any Kiwi Farms domain. If it contains the word Kiwi Farms, it doesn't matter if it's .net, .st, .pl, whatever it is, it must be removed. And so... I am resolved to the total and utter destruction of Cogent, uh, ran by a DC spook named Dave Schaefer. Dave Schaefer founded Cogent in Washington, DC in 1999. He has been the CEO ever since. I am 100% convinced that Dave Schaefer is personally involved in trying to shut down the Kiwi farms and they are threatening entire ISPs and entire data centers with a discontinuation of service unless they remove my website in particular, regardless of if there is any validity to any of their complaints whatsoever. Um, so I have picked a very easy first target for my complete and total destruction of Cogent. And that is Rumble. Rumble bros, I regret to inform you that some of you may be receiving the bits that make up my live stream uh, through the, the fiber optics owned by a monstrous company. Uh, because Coge, or Rumble utilizes several very large data centers, including Equinix, which is an interesting one, because when we were using host team in Poland, they used uh, the Warsaw Equinix data center, Equinix WA1. And uh, Equinix personally, the data center itself, told this massive ISP, which had hosted us for months, that they must get rid of the Kiwi Farms. And Rumble finds itself in several of their North American data centers. And in those data centers that enjoy a... Equinix is famous, they're a very big company. So they have lots and lots of uh, ISPs plugged into their, their mix. And one of those ISPs is Cogent. So I don't expect Rumble to just up and leave Equinix as a whole, because that's like half their stack. However, what they can do very easily at any time is inform the networking authorities at Equinix that they would like it so that Cogent is not a part of their upstream blend. This would cost them literally nothing. Um, let me see if I can show you this real quick. I actually sent a tweet out to the CEO of Rumble. 
um, trying to instigate the change that I want to see in the world. Here it is. So you can see that the ASN for Rumble is connected to Arleon, great, great ISP. That's uh, goes by Talia. They're a Nordic ISP. Um, they were the only ISP to not drop us in um, when we were a part of Terra Host. So there was a time where only Swedish, Norwegian, and Finnish users could connect to the Kiwi farms that happened to have uh, Talia as their ISP. So Arleon is a great choice. Um, NTT uh, Global, I've not had any issues with. I don't even know Tata. I've never heard of that before. Uh, Cogent is the big baddie. we got to get rid of him. GTT, uh, North America, I've had no issues with. And Lumen is... I want to say Lumen Europe hasn't given us issues, but Lumen America has. But just, they got one, two, three, four, five, six ISPs. And if they can just say, hey, uh, uh, Equinix, uh, you're shit, but also Cogent is complete and utter fucking garbage. Can you stop routing our network through Cogent? Uh, that would be a huge slap in the face to Cogent. So that is my current endeavor. I would like to see Cogent removed from the upstream mix of Rumble's ASN. And uh, one thing that's not mentioned here, because it appears that they only route through this company when there's an active DDoS attack going on, is PATH. Uh, PATH, actually, let me pull up this real quick. PATH Network. I maybe, oh, I'm blocked by PATH Network. Oh, I wonder what... Oh, chat, chat, why do you think I'm blocked by PATH Network? I wonder what happened. Let me... uh. Let me take a little screen cap a Rooney here as a guest user, if I can do that. It's not fine. I'm actually blocked on Twitter by a major ISP. Mm. E, fascinating chat. Uh, here. Oh, I don't have their, their original message. They were, they were uh, posting about how proud they were to work with Rumble to deal with the recent DDoS attacks. So Rumble is funneling thousands of dollars into a company called Path, which was the first uh, the first ISP ever to block my ASN. And here is Path hanging out with uh, Liz the Gray um, and Alejandro Caraballo to talk about how much they support deplatforming, how funny it is that they, that they find the deplatforming to be. And also, they're being sued in Canada, I want to say. Um, I think they're being sued in several jurisdictions. I think they're actually near bankruptcy and are failing to pay their bills uh, continuously. There is somebody, um, in case you don't know, there's a guy named Corey Barnhill. He's changed his name about 8 million times. But he was the CEO, or CTO, the Chief Technology Officer of PATH. And I believe he still is, but they just lie and they say that he doesn't have any part of their company anymore. And I'd like to show you guys if I can get this, I'm doing this on the fly. I just want to go off on a little tangent. Uh, wondering what kind of caliber person that they're hiring here at, uh, at this company. I just pick some random ones. One. Where are all the clips at? The embeds up here don't work. That's what I want to play, actually. See, what when, you're, when you're showing me a six-year-old getting fucked in the ass, oh, that's not a joke anymore. That's real. That's a real child. This guy. But she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't get. A yeah. She doesn't. Here, I have to open these on uh, new tabs apparently because the embeds broke. Multiple uh, not times. From the you could have talked oh, you a long from the time, like the <laughs> I told. Story. I told you. I literally told you, the fucking fourth day that we were talking about everything. About... I showed you everything. And by the second week that we were together, you already looked through my computer twice, and I told you everything. I didn't know you watched, <laughs> like, child pornography. The minute you said that you were always curious like, about Like, I, I didn't know, like, what? Oh, my God. You said that you were curious oh, about Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, you, my God. You were high oh, as fuck God. when you said it, but you did say it. Holy crap. I'm gonna vomit. Like literally, you don't understand. Like I feel like vomiting when I think about it. Like any. Yeah, and oh that's the God. thing is, you get high and you say oh stupid shit. God. Yes, this is Zoom. If you know, see, here's the thing. A lot. I don't think a lot of people know that Zoom is uh, also this guy. 
like i think they know that zoom is like this fucking psychopath from ibs but he's actually like a child rapist pedophile that watches child pornography and he's also he's a member of path which just so happened to uh, to actively proactively as the first isp ever to remove my asn uh from their announcement so i couldn't uh, get ddos filtering anymore uh because of this thread very specifically because of these videos you that you're listening. around with me again yeah but we didn't yeah, because you asked. Like yeah, because you asked. You asked me. You said, "Don't show it to me again." And then I fucking formatted my computer so that there was nothing on my computer because I do everything you fucking ask isn't me it, to do. Isn't it funny how like we're just like talking on Skype and like you know I'm horny and you're like, "Oh, I just happened to have this video on my computer of a six-year-old getting raped." You mean you mean the, the fucking thing that I left it. running when I was gone? Because you told me that you wanted me to find all the files that I deleted. And then I said, all right, I'll download a file recovery program. And I left the fucking thing running when I was with you for two weeks. Oh, my God. There you go. Um, Rumble does business with this company that secretly employs this guy, I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure that he's still involved because, uh, in case you don't know, uh, like I mentioned, he's in a lawsuit. For some reason... Uh, Corey keeps showing up in these lawsuits as if he's still employed in the company under different names. Um, so when you ask them, hey, do you employ this pedophile named Corey Barnhill? I think say, no, 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 stalker child. Nobody by the name of Corey Barnhill works at Path Technologies. Well, uh, that's a neat little trick. Doesn't work, though. Also, I was wrong. I was informed that Rumble does actually maintain direct contracts with all those ISPs I mentioned. So... Is at their will. They don't even have to ask permission. They can drop Cogent from their announcements literally at any time. So if you know Chris Pavlovsky, if you know Glenn Greenwald, if you know any of these people at Rumble, uh, that would be a very small but poignant victory over a company that literally just sends out emails to their, as a tier one ISP, one of the most secretly powerful and influential co corporations in the entire world. That would be a, a little symbolic victory over these people. Not your personal army? Too bad. You're drafted, motherfucker. Um, our drama, by the way, who owns Watch People Die and our drama .net, uh, which were two communities that were banned from Reddit for whatever reason. Well, technically, our drama was never banned, but the admins were like personally involved in our drama and kept coming to them with like more and more demands about shit that they couldn't do. So they just changed their their uh, their Reddit so that you can only post emojis, and then there's like links to their other website somewhere. So I, so it's like still active. The mods aren't like enforcing rules that uh, <laughs> that um, make the the subreddit dead or whatever. But they can still shill, and they can still stay on the site and shill, which is pretty base. Um, I don't know who they're moving to. I, I would reach out. Once I know who is a good domain registrar, and I'll know in a couple of months, I think, I will uh, shout it out to the, the top of the world. I will find an answer to everything. And that's the hard thing. You tell people, um, well, what domain registrar should I use then? It's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell people, yeah, boycott this company when you don't have an alternative suggestion. I think that's the that's something that a lot of these, um, when these boycotts start, and they're like, well, we need to boycott all these pause companies that advertise during um, during uh, June or whatever, during Pride Month. It's like, well, you can't really say that and then also not provide a solution. I think that's why Budweiser or Bud Light was like such a successful boycott was that in the world of beer, there's actually still a fair amount of competition. You have to look kind of hard to find which beers are not owned by Anheuser-Busch, but... They do exist. Modelo is one. <laughs> Modelo in the United States isn't uh, distributed by Anheuser Busch, so uh, it's kind of like that. You just have to you have to give people an option. Um, and it's I suppose it's a good thing that our drama moved off because uh, people did some digging. I did not ask anyone to do this, by the way, but they did some digging, and it turns out that uh, this guy who is the um. Director of Information Security at Epic is like a cat man, goes by Cool Meow, um, and he's really, really into Lollicon. Here he is saying, you're fucking weird. How can you not fap to lollies? What the fuck? They're legit the best. Um, he actually says on this account that he's the director of network operations at epic.com. Um, 
continually ask about Lollicon and shit. And uh, he's gone. Or he's not gone, but he hid all of his social media prefer- uh, presence. So this guy, shout out to my boy. What's his name? Marcelo Gone Calves. What a stupid fucking name. Is that like a Hispanic name? What kind of fucking name is that? Hideous. Well, shout out to my boy. Uh, meow, 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 meow. Maybe, maybe him and uh, Nick Fuentes can can link up. Maybe he can. I think. Um, I think Cozy TV is on Epic, but Cozy TV wasn't deplatformed. Fascinating. Are the are the cats are the cats watching out for each other? Chat. Are they are they helping each other out? It's it's uh, a <laughs> fascinating. Portuguese. Oh, and he was involved in a company called Sybil that uh, Epic acquired. And then also, uh, when I was Zeton, uh, Jackie Zing, who is the... I, whenever I talk about Jackie, I always want to say he, because like I, I see her face and I just instinctively think that's a man. That's a man with a woman's name. Many such cases. Uh, let me use he. Of one of the most unfortunate natal women to ever exist. Um, but she's angry. She said, burn in hell, you piece of shit. Rotten hell, you evil piece of shit. An evil piece of it's an evil piece of shit. Um, she then went on a diatribe on her, her timeline and said, literally, word for word, uh, something along the lines of, Josh is on Zitter. Make sure to harass him. Turnabout is fair play. Like just and you can't really say that. You can't say like, hey, harass somebody on Twitter. That's like one of the only rules. <laughs> that are currently on Twitter, so a bunch of people reported her, and now her tweets are protected. This continues to happen. I, I make a zit, and then I am blocked, or tweets go protected over and over again. Um, so the reaction to this was that people also sent me some information about Jackie. As it turns out, there used to be an organization, uh, this is the name of the organization, the Gay Nigger Association of America. Um, Jackie was a gay nigger, and so was Weave. If you ever knew uh, Weave, he is a, I think, part Jewish because he has, um, he has that gluten intolerance that only Jews get. Uh, but w- Weave has a swastika tattooed on his chest, and Jackie and him were both gay niggers together. Uh, back in the day, back when Jackie was hacking but legal, but was rather instead hacking but not legal. And if we go here into Jackie's IRC search and we type in some fun words. You can see that Jackie Zing is actually an enjoyer of, of many, many, many fun words. Oh, look. Before long, we found others online who shared his passion for elegant code and offensive rhetoric, the Gay Nigger Association of America, so she knows. She's hang, literally hanging out with a man that got a swastika tattooed on, on his chest, and she's just cool with it. But it's the Kiwi Farms, which is problematic, and Jackie cannot stand for that. Let's try some other, other words. Let's talk about fascism. The bundle of sticks. Ah, dang, Jackie. Look at this. Look at all the times that she's used this horrific slur that dehumanizes members of the LGBTQIP plus community chat. It's incredible. Incredible. What's another word? Ooh. Let's go for it. Let's go for the kill shot chat. We see it. Oh, she's smart. She knows the line. The line is drawn in the sand. Don't ever say that word. That's the word that you don't say. Jew zone. Oh no. 0.2% Ashkenazi Jew. Is she talking about me? Oh, this isn't good. Maybe she just didn't know the other word. She didn't know the Greek word for circle chat. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I can't believe this person, Jackie Zing, right here, hacking but legal, who does... Uh, speaking engagements about how evil the Kiwi Farms is and how effective the platforming is, uh, is up here saying the N slur, the F slur, calling people Jew in a derogatory and uh, dehumanizing manner? That's incredible. That's really unfortunate. I, I denounce this fully and completely. It is a grave offense to my to my soul and to human decency as a whole, chat. Truly, truly vile. Um, oh, no, I already talked about that. So we have, a, there's one more thing. Oh, no, that's later. That's later. Um, so, you know, I'm doing this thing, trying to 
be the change I want to see in the world. I want to be unhinged and I want to bring down the forces of darkness. If only there was somebody prominent on Rumble in active negotiations with the Rumble um, a creator team for a contract at this very moment who could lend an olive branch based on principle alone with nothing personal, no personal stake involved to make gains. Unfortunately, that person is wet brained with holes in his fucking head and is incapable of not sticking his foot in his mouth. It's really a shame though, that the domain name got taken right by Epic. God, this sucks. If only there were like a bunch of giant networks around the internet of people that would have been happy to share the news that some domain hosting company had taken the domain name of a website and like people could like maybe raise a stink about it. If only there were a bunch of different like podcasts or shows. that could raise awareness about this but instead there's just there's just like 1500 autistic retards left that use tor and tails or whatever there's just those people but it used to be a network of like tens to hundreds of thousands of people but you won't talk to those people anymore if only there was some way that the word could get out about like uh, this weird, crazy absconding of some, oh, God, I don't know how you could do that. Hmm. If only there was some way to do that. Well, that's too bad. I don't know what that's even about. Crow Minion says, how would we know? So chat, I must ask you, is it time to wear the Baldo? Vote one, exclamation point, vote one. If I should wear the Baldo to enlist Rakeda's help in this struggle for survival. Vote two, if death before dishonor, chat. <laughs> Do not vote if you are incredibly based. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll wait for about 100 participants before I start reading the results of this. Um, oh, jeez. After 100 votes are in, 34 people, about 30%, say, yes, wear the Baldo. But instead, 90 votes or 70% of people say, no, soccer child, death before dishonor. So it appears I have no choice. I am compelled. I am contractually obligated by the results of a Democratic vote. Actually, it swung to 25 to 75 now. Wow. So I am I'm compelled by the outcome of democracy to deny the Baldo. To not talk to Rakeda again until he gets over, as I said before, even if it means not getting his help, not getting his sword in the fight to have Rumble, uh, Rumble cut off Kojin and Path. Interesting times, chat. Interesting times. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.